Entrevistas Alfa. Bueno, pues tenemos por aquí el gusto de eh, realizarle una entrevista a LP. Welcome to Alpha 91.3. How are you? I'm good. Very Thank nice you. to see you. You too. Nice to be here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, LP, music went through a complicated time due to the pandemic. Uh, how was that time for you? How was the hardest thing to you? Uh, I mean, I think that, um, you know, my, my career kind of... Um, equipped me well to like for the waiting game you know <laughs> I've waited a lot of times like for things that were out of my control so I feel like um, that part was kind of um, maybe the easiest part and I felt like I was the most adaptable to it um, I think you know um, also I feel like um, I got so much extra time to work on this record and I, I these last couple of records um, I have really um, had to like work on them from the road so um th that was nice that i was able to be right there and also i got to write more songs and and um you know there are a lot of songs on this record that i don't think uh might have been on there had i not had the time to write more songs and you know and it just like i don't know it gave me like i'm always like you know thinking that like perspective is like one of the most important things that you have like your own individual perspective because only you've seen the whole story you know and so um you know you can like kind of i think this whole time period like led to a lot more um appreciation for for people even like for live music you know so um i think it was an inspiring period also because we were so connected so i tried to see the uh mostly the positive things and i mean you know it's a terrible thing to have happened you know no question about it not not like oh it's okay you know but mm -hmm. um but i think that um It made us all understand how um, connected we are and how much we rely on each other for, um, you know, uh, the whole ecosystem of the world, you know. Okay, so I'm um, I'm curious about the title of your <laughs> your new uh, album, Churches. Uh, Why mm -hmm. did you call it that way? Um, you know, that was the first record, uh, the first um, song that was written for this record. Um, I mean, there's a song called Can't Let You Leave, which was written um, a few years ago, but. Um, But this song is when it, I kind of feel like that's when I felt like I embarked on a new, um, new record, and um, and I don't know. I thought it would be a great title because I feel like the um, the um, the word churches is kind of like I don't know. It's like it's like um, it makes me think of so many things, you know, like um, and how um, it's been like kind of used in so many different ways, and and then I kind of felt like I wanted to use it as. Um, just as a that it's a symbol for me of everybody's own inner um relationship with um uh god or whatever they hold sacred or whatever um okay. you know whatever's important to them and i felt like uh and i i really i like that about people i don't really you know i don't really like um I hate people telling me what to do, and I don't like telling anybody what to do okay. so um especially in the in the ways of um how I um, connect to the spiritual world and God and everything. So, I don't know. And I also named it Churches because I think the song is really heavy and, and, and cool. And um, I wasn't sure if it was going to be a single, and I wanted people to know it was on there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, wh what is your favorite uh, the song mm. of, of the album? Uh, I don't know. You know, I mean, every single that comes out, I'm like, I, I'm always like, is that the right one? Is that the right one? <laughs> you know, but um, I think that this record also just works as a whole in the best you know but um gosh i don't know <laughs> i don't know I don't okay know. <laughs> okay so we know that you have a romantic relationship with a, a mexican actress so <laughs> in, in what way does the mexican love actress. <laughs> <laughs> in what way does love influence your your music um in every way you know um i think it's a uh, I think romantic love is um, one of the, you know, biggest mirrors for ourselves and not just, I mean, of how we are, you know, um, or uh, or how um, we appear to be, you know. I think that, um, you know, I think uh, um, people, especially if you're a public person and you, and you already know that person, you, you, you think you know them, but you don't really know them. <laughs> <You> know? <laughs> so um, I think... Uh, I think I think uh, that's the case with everybody, and uh, and I'm very, um, um, I think it's fascinating to um, kind of break down romantic love and to know, because um, I think everybody's kind of 
in a way, not everybody, but many people are always thinking about it. You know, if they're uh, if they're happy in romance, then they're you know they're thinking about it, and if they're not happy in romance, they're thinking about something else, someone else, whatever. And I think it, you know, I think it's just something about it that that brings up our like our biggest fears and our biggest hopes, something like that. Okay. Hi, it's LP, and you're listening to the best radio station in Mexico, Alpha ninety one point three. I love that station, mother. <laughs> Entrevistas Alfa.